Greetings, welcome, thank you for tuning in. I'm Imperial Jedi, and this is our first look at Bus Simulator 2018, which is a really fun transport management game that uh, not only allows you to just manage the company, but you actually get to drive the, uh, the buses yourself. So, pretty wild. I've just gone through just like a hint of the tutorial to get myself started, so we've gone ahead and made ourselves the Imperial Transit Authority. We got our bus company up and running. I've just borrowed a little bit of money. We've got our first three buses up and running too, and I've hired some drivers. And because we're still very early in the um, uh, the campaign, we've only got this small section of the city here unlocked. But uh, yeah, I thought what we could do is maybe drive this route that's highlighted, show you guys what the game is like, and uh, yeah, kind of go from there, I guess. It's a lot to say and do, so we'll just take our take a little stabs at this, I guess. Okay, so here we are in a route. Um, I've gone ahead and just yeah purchased this bus. You get to pick the colors for it. Um, this is me. Hello. And you get to design your uh, uniform colors and that kind of stuff too, so pretty cool. Nice big old walk around here. So I'm really happy with this um, color scheme, it's kind of fun. I think our city buses should be uh, well seen from uh, from afar. All right, so the game, it does strive for a lot of realism. So we're gonna have to just, you know, go through the uh, the startup sequence properly, push all the right buttons, do our little walkthroughs, make sure everything is just happy go lucky And uh, the game has a um, kind of like a reward penalty system. So if we signal, and we're polite, and we issue the correct tickets, and we stop in the right spot, we do well. But if we speed, and we bump the curb, and we hit stuff, then we fail. So that's bad. We don't want to get tickets or anything like that. Alright, so, let's get started here. Door is closed. And let's move on in, find our ignition key. We're going to turn this three times. Perfect, bus is on, nice quiet diesel engine. You can see our little uh, heads-up display here. And uh, because we're nice, bright, sunshiny day and a lot of lights in here, I'm just going to turn the uh, cockpit light off. But if we were at a nighttime map, that would be nice to be able to see the buttons we're pushing. Okay, so we want our cashier lights so that when people are in here, they can see what change they're getting. We want our passenger lights so that when you know people are in the bus, they feel safe, they can read their books, they can see what they're doing, obviously. Easy peasy, done like that, okay. If you want, you can turn the uh, the radio on, but we'll, um, we'll keep it a little bit distraction-free for the moment. There's some fun, fun songs and stuff. Or you can do the whole Spotify thing if you want, right? All right, so let's turn the lights on. And by default, just because I'm on the simplified controls, um, I've got uh, the speed limiter on. That just stops me from going over the speed limit. And uh, my gear shifting will be automatic. But if you're diehard, you can do a manual transmission. Okay, so parking brake off. And let's put it into gear. And let's just roll forward. So what I like to do is when I'm interacting with the bus and you know passengers and stuff, I actually switch over to keyboard and mouse. But when I'm driving, I like to try to use a um, uh, wireless controller. Okay, so you know, beautiful sunshiny day, and the world itself too. Actually, before we get into our um, into our mission here, let's move a little bit more forward. This city is it's fully walkable, so we can just leave the bus. Oh, might help if I open the door. Can I do that from here? Yes, I can. Good. So we can leave our bus like this, and we can just go run into the streets and have a great old day. So pretty crazy. So this is done with, uh, with the Unreal Engine. So very good engine. A lot of a lot of real feels you get from it. But the city itself, I mean, it, it has a good feel to it. It feels like a city. There's traffic, there's people. The people talk, you know, the the cars interact the way they should. I mean, it's cool. Really happy with it. So we'll, we'll take a little cruise around later on, too. But let's just go, yeah, let's see the sights. So to start, we are not being timed, but once we pick up our first passengers, we're going to have to stick to a uh, time schedule. Signal, because we're safe. And uh, to be fair, I'm used to driving a smaller bus, so um, I may not be the best at this one, but that's okay. Don't judge me on that. Uh, main thing is we want to make sure we're not hitting speed bumps too, too hard. We don't want to go over any potholes. Speaking of which, there's one. And I think I might maybe need to change the sensitivity a little bit, because I feel like my joystick, I'm just a little bit off sometimes, or maybe I'll oversteer. And speaking of buses and routes and stuff, there's some buses from other routes that we planned. Oh, they're waving high. That's so exciting. The old flash into the lights. Okay, so we'll just open the door, put up stopping position. Fantastic. So she needs uh, two single day tickets. Or single tickets, not day tickets. And uh, she needs two students, so we'll just pop that in over here and look to see if she needs any change. So one euro forty, easy peasy. On to the next person. No one else, no problem. So if we want, some people got in on the back door. 
you can see our time hasn't started yet because we actually haven't left the, um, the stop. The game is uh, the game is nice on the on the first one, so we can go through and we can just check people's tickets. Here you go. She's got a battle ticket. We just sold to her. We know this. He's got a battle ticket too. She's called oh, Murphy. that's so awesome. Thank you, sir. So that's nice, right? That person does not. You got caught, sir. 120 euros. So we just made that money. That's great. You don't necessarily have time to do that every time, but that was worth it right there. So we can open and close the doors individually. So I can close the back door by pressing number two. Press number one for the uh, for the front. But if you're on the controller, if you just press the X, it closes um, both at the same time. Okay, so signal. I'm looking in this mirror here to make sure no one's there. That truck should stop for us. Beautiful, it did. Benefits to having the, uh, the right of way. So this is kind of cool, I'll show you. So the buses take really wide turns. We can scroll out to our um, our third person view here. You can see how wide of a turn we actually take and why it's pivotal to uh, to go wide. So if I don't, I'm gonna clip the uh, the corner there. If you clip the corner, you lose um, some money. So just for, for fun reference. Oh, someone's listening to music really loudly. Okay, you know, we're a little bit far from our next stop. Passengers complain about this kind of stuff. Let's put on our hazards. Let's get as far over as we can. I can't wait for the weekend to begin. Let's go deal with this troublemaker really quickly. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. I love that it was opera, operetta-style music as well. Okay. Number seven for our hazards. Pull on out. Check the mirrors. We are good. And luckily, because of traffic, no time lost. Right? We'd be sitting here delayed anyway. So. Now, something that I would maybe like to see added would be traffic lights. Currently, the intersections are set up so that you yield. I believe it's done that way so that when you approach as a bus, people will yield to you. But sometimes the traffic, they're just very Canadian. They all just wait for each other to uh, to go. So you end up waiting too long. And we got 40 seconds to get to our next spot. So as much as I enjoy playing the Canadian game here, we, we are in a slight amount of a hurry. So let's go, people. Not that the horn does anything, but... Actually, that's not true. There are some instances where um, you will need to use your horn. But there, the horn does nothing, so don't, don't be one of those motorists. And what's cool, too, is because we picked this route, we know how long it's going to be. So this should be about a seven or eight minute long route. And with our casual delays, probably an eight or nine minute route. So that's kind of fun. So you can kind of set up for how much driving you want to give yourself. If you want to do a little quick quick run around, you can. And you don't have to see a route through to, uh, to completion if you... Um, you gotta take a phone call or something, you can you can dip out. Okay, so wide turn. It seems like we're gonna hit everything, but we're not. And uh, if you're skilled, you can watch the uh, the mirrors on the right hand side as you're making your turn to see if you're going um, too wide or too too narrow. Hey, did you see the latest episode of Winter of Passion? Yes! Of course, I would never have thought Hans would do that. I <laughs> love this dialogue, it's so silly. Yeah, so in the city, it feels real. Like, there's bicycles, you know, there's people parked, there's people walking, there's, there's animals, but maybe some birds, you know. But yeah, it, it just feels feels nice. I'm very, very impressed with this. Okay, so we're okay for time. See if anyone needs to buy any tickets. Nope, and when you get on or off, there's someone back there. Are you guys coming on? Ooh, one person. A few times I've uh, unfortunately taken off before everyone gets on, and uh, yeah, you lose a little bit of a penalty there. So three euro eighty is our change. Easy peasy. You can actually give too much change and get a little bit of a penalty that way too. Okay, so let's close our doors. Check our um, put on our signal. Check our mirrors. Good to go. And so that's what I was talking about earlier. I think I might maybe need to change a little bit of the sensitivity settings. I feel like I oversteer too often on these gentle curves. And this is a sharp turn, so let's go a little bit to the outside here. That's very good. Yeah, the first bus they start you off with is about maybe a third the size of this one. So it's a lot easier for navigating turns. The, the first few times I took this bus out, I kept clipping um, clipping corners. I was not used to that extra length. And uh, what's crazy is as you progress further down the campaign, you can get those like double double uh, buses, like the accordion style ones. 
the um, articulated buses, I believe is what they're called. Okay, so we're gonna signal. We're making great time. No, we're not. We're actually 40 seconds um, over. My, my mistake. So it's good timing, not perfect timing. Good timing. I think you're within a minute. Um, they'll, they'll deem it good timing. May I have a ticket, please? Oh, passenger forgot something. Um. Return item to passenger. Where is oh, there's a person? Sorry, guys. One second. Thank you. You're very welcome, sir. Ladies, a senior ticket. Let me see some ID, young lady. I don't know. But yeah, if you want, you can kind of role play a little bit. Just talk to the people. I I, I enjoy doing this fun. Okay, so three euro twenty, easy peasy. You're very welcome. A day senior. Okay. There you go. Okay, let's make up some time here. Let's get moving. Yeah, you know, if you want, you can be like all aboard, you can be like everyone sit down, use the rear doors, like that kind of stuff, right? The roleplay possibility is definitely, uh, definitely real here. And the coolest thing about this game, which I haven't even mentioned yet, is there is a multiplayer feature. So see that bus on the left? That could be one of my friends if I wanted it to be. So other streamers, other content creators, your friends, your family. So if you want, you can just cruise, be on, on Skype or Discord, and just, yeah, hang out. Oh, took too long. One more work day and I'm off. Okay, see if we can make up some time here. I don't know if we're gonna be able to make up that time. Get stuck in traffic. That truck's gonna stop. Good. Don't ever forget the fundamentals. You gotta check your blind spots, make sure your signal. And it's handy having the uh, little GPS route. And you got it on the left or the right, the static one, and this one that's uh, built in with the uh, bus. Whichever one you feel comfortable looking at. And you can, but I don't drive too often in third person. I just find that this is a little bit easier. And a little bit quieter, too. We're late. Hurry up. I'm sorry, sir. It wasn't my fault. It was traffic. See ya. Have a good day. See? You can just talk to the people. I like that. Okay. In and out. Perfect. Okay. I won't check any tickets. We'll use the honor system here. If we had some more time, maybe we would. Okay, signal on. Let's make sure that car stops. Good. Next stop, Oops. A little that oversteer happening. But yeah, I'm very excited to make it further in the campaign and uh, you know drive on the highway, take a look at some of the other parts of town. I'm curious to see how far you can um, just walk around too. Currently, because we don't have the other parts unlocked, I can't like it's blocked off to us. But when we have the whole place unlocked, I'm just curious if you can maybe get out of your bus and just go from one end to the other just on foot. In real life, I'd be looking for a bicycle so I think a little more often. Definitely want to check that, uh, that blind spot there. Okay. Several tickets. Okay, so we need single, um, and we need three regulars. Easy peasy. Any change? No problem. The thing that I find a little bit odd though is we're dealing with euros, and we have a European style um, like road network and everything, but yet people have American accents. So I'm not quite sure about that. Not that it's bad or anything. It just kind of does take away a little bit from the realism. So I'm not sure if there's any plans maybe for um, different voice actors for different cities. That's the only thing I find just a little bit odd. But it's not a bad or anything, it just maybe throws me off a little bit. I really like the voice announcer, the, uh, the woman right there, That's, that sounds really nice. Overall, I'm very, very, very impressed with this game. And I just feel like it can only get better too. Oh, careful the potholes. Some potholes worse than others. And you'll know if you hit it too hard. It'll it'll give you a little warning. Oh, troublemaker listening to the music. We'll get them at the next stop since we're just right here. Next 
It's my favorite bus stop to pull into, just the way the, the road curves. It's like my favorite, just uh, design-wise. Very easy. Okay, so let's, um, it's last stop, so everyone should be getting off. Oh, music person getting off too, easy peasy. Uh, let's just double check to see if any trash or anything. There isn't, fantastic. Okay, successful run. All right. So all we need to do now is just make our way back to the uh, garage. We can end the trip now if we want, or we can just go for our own little cruise. Maybe take a little walk around, actually, really quickly. See the game. To so the Unreal Engine, I mean, it just, it's beautiful. It feels very familiar. So a lot of games, mainstream ones, are made in this. So the cell, sh cell shading and that kind of stuff really looks nice. The game scales very well, too. Very, very real feel to it. I really like this a lot. I haven't really changed too much of the uh, settings around. I'm pretty much just on whatever uh, defaulted. But you can definitely fine tune a lot of a lot of things here. And there's the uh, the route run, route number three. You change the uh, line numbers. This is, I'm really this is awesome. I haven't really done too much with the game, and I'm I'm loving it so much already. Okay, so let's go do our little loop and let's head back to the garage here. So close our doors. Fantastic. Let's signal. Take our blind spot. Let that guy go by. Now, another th thing I wish the game had is, you can see right here, <clears throat> as we approach the uh, the intersection, what way do we go, left or right? It's not like the game tells us. I know from experience that we can go either way and it's not really an issue. I'll probably look and see which way has less uh, less traffic. But that's just another thing too, I wish the, um, the GPS would say left turn ahead, right turn ahead, instead of just uh, the old uh, blue line like that. And I feel like these little things can just be either easily fixed with maybe like a mod or some kind of patch down the road. So it's not really a complaint or anything, just more like an observation. And this is another one of those instances where I wish there was maybe a traffic light or something just to allow for a bit more traffic flow. But I still feel like the game, yeah, it's very early, right? So I don't want to know. I don't know if it's like, yeah, I don't know what the plans are yet, but I feel like I shouldn't, shouldn't complain about this kind of stuff. Okay, so let's swing it right here. It's very easy to um, oversteer when you're going too quickly. And it may seem like I was going a little bit fast into that turn, but I'm, I feel like I'm getting a good feel for um, for this bus. Oops, wrong button there. <laughs> Don't even ask what I just did. I was curious if there's a handbrake, but that's not <laughs> what I wanted at all. As I brag about how I'm getting better with the bus, right? All right, so let's pass this guy. The garage is just up here on the left, and then we'll drop off our bus, head into the menu, and uh, yeah. I think that's where we'll wrap it up for our first little episode into the game. My plan is to kind of make this a bit of a casual let's play, so I'll drop some more um, just episodes as I make a little bit further uh, progression, maybe unlock some new buses, learn some new stuff. And I think it'd be really fun to maybe try to introduce like a multiplayer aspect to this as well. So I'm gonna see if I can find some friends maybe who have this and we can just do some challenges or some long drives or something. And uh, if you're into um, the live streaming world, I'm going to be doing this over on um, Twitch as well. So make sure you follow me over there and we can test some stuff out, drive some long routes. Okay, don't want to bump anything in the last uh, last little home stretch here. Okay, so we'll just roll right on in. And uh, we don't have to go through the, the motions, but let's just go through the motions here. So we'll put the brake on, we would turn the light off, we would turn our passenger light plus the cashier light off and we would just now go in and hit the ignition open the door hop on out and that's us done beautiful drive finished awesome how'd we do we do well no no infractions okay fair dodgers oh uh oh i think we only caught one of them right so we could have made extra 120 euros You've lost some new items. New bus! Nice. And a new color. Cool. So let's go look at the bus. Let's see what the menu and everything is like. So you progress through a level system. I believe that's maybe how you get the, the buses unlocked. We can see our revenue. So I think we're... Yeah, we're getting closer. Not too not too shabby here. You can see our route planner. So this is just us right now. This is the route we were just on. I have a driver and a bus assigned to it already. I can put more on the route if I want to. 
we can edit the route we were just on. So if I want, I can get rid of those stops, right? And depends on how you plan it will be either like you know left side of the street or right side of the street. And you can kind of see sort of with the placing. So this pink line going this way is driving on the right side of the street. So if I wanted to, I could put a line that goes down to the left, which is kind of what I did for this. The lines themselves look like they're just a straight shot. I don't know if you can do the looping lines just yet. I'm not really sure. And then as far as our, our buses go, oh, yes, I do. I'm doing changes anyway. Yeah, here we are. So just three of the same type, just for simplicity. But as far as customization goes, you can pick your skins, your colors, um, solid colors, that kind of stuff. I don't have any ads or too many uh, decals just yet, but we're decals, but working towards it. And actually, can we see some more buses? Yeah, let's try some. Let's see if we got that new one for, uh, for purchase. So, um, shop, there we go. This is what you start with. So about a third of the size of the Mercedes right there. This is what we're currently driving. <clears throat> and this is what we just unlocked here, Lion City. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, I like that mirror. I didn't realize, but like, man, mirrors, they make such a difference. I don't know if you can kind of tell, but this one here, um, the mirrors are, I, I feel like, very well placed. This one's a nice big wide one. Whereas this guy here, they're little itsy bitsy narrow mirrors. So I, I missed these ones already. When I got into this, I was like, oh my goodness, what is this? Took me a few trips to get used to them, but I just find them a little bit, a little bit narrow. Anyway, so that's it, guys. I think we'll uh, end things off here. I'll save up some more money, and uh, we'll try and get this bus. Um, and uh, yeah, maybe work towards that. But you guys, let me know in the comments what you want to see. Um, I'm thinking maybe we can try some more just generic driving routes in some different weather. Um, maybe not the same route each time. And yeah, and then we can check in later with some some more buses, and definitely when we unlock some more parts of the uh, of the city. We just started up here, but I believe eventually you can get the uh, the whole kit and caboodle. All right, well, that's it, my friends. Thanks for hanging out. Let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, yeah, this is a very fun game, very peaceful. If you're um, if you're a fan of, like, yeah, like, truck sim, those kind of stuff, like, you'll really enjoy this. And uh, for anyone that really enjoys the, um, uh, like, a transport management, like, the financials, the statistics, you know, these bar graphs, this is your jam, you'll very much so enjoy this. And I, I'm fairly certain you can um, progress the game without actually really doing too much driving of your own. So that's kind of cool too. So if that's not really your jam, but you still want to get some late game stuff, I think you can make your way through that. But I'm, I'm still very, very um, new to it, so I gotta, I gotta learn some stuff myself. Anyway, my friends, thank you very much. That is it. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.